customizing the default 2011 WordPress theme. How to add an auto updating copyright date to the footer of your default 2011 WordPress theme. Let me scroll down here to the footer and I'll show you what I'm talking about. This is the way that it looks right now. Let's take a look at what happens after we add this little bit of code. Boom. Now this is not just the date, the copyright date, this is an auto changing copyright date. You've got the text saying copyright, you've got the little copyright special character and this current year. Now this current year is where the magic happens. This will automatically change each and every December 31st or January 1 depending on how you have things set up on the inside of your WordPress site. So let's take a look at the code and how we can do this. Not a lot to this one, but it's a matter of where you're going to put it. This is not going to go in our style.css, but this will work in your child theme and can also work in your parent theme. Of course, I highly recommend that you use this in your child theme, and that's what we're going to go with. So let's go ahead and get this guy into my clipboard here. Get this guy out of the way, and let's open up my FTP client here. So I'm going to have to borrow the footer.php from the parent theme and I'm going to download it into my child theme folder that's on my desktop where I do all of my tinkering around at. And let's move this up to the 2011 theme. Open this up. Hunt down your footer.php. I'm just going to go ahead and download this because the files that are in your child theme will take precedence over the same file that's in your parent theme with the one exception of the functions.php for the most part. So that's why I'm going to use this footer here. I'm just going to leave it alone. But if you do not have a child theme, then you can do what I'm about to show you in your parent themes footer.php. Problem is, most every time that you update your WordPress installation, and if that update contains a new footer.php, which for the most part it probably won't, but if it does, then it's going to overwrite any work that you do, any customized work that you do in your parent themes footer.php. That's why I suggest that you do all of your customizations in the child theme so any updates that you do to your WordPress core will not affect any of your customizations on your 2011 theme. So let's get this out of the way for the time being. Actually let's just leave it there. I do want to scroll back up to my child theme because that's where I'm going to be doing my work here in just a second. Let's go ahead and open up my text editor and then open up the footer.php that I just downloaded into my working folder. And this is the full-blown footer.php and I'm just going to scroll down to the bottom and I'm looking for line 47, the div tag site-generator. Put my cursor at the end there, hit the return key or enter key, and then I'm going to paste that code right there. And just a quick rundown here, there's no customizations here, none that I would suggest anyway, but you've got the text, you've got the code for that copyright emblem, the little C with a circle around it, and then this right here is the code that tells your WordPress site to pull in the date, specifically the year. So let's go ahead and save this, and let's open up my FTP client again. Let me go ahead and upload our edited footer.php into our child theme, and let's get this guy out of the way, and let's open up our browser again, and Let's refresh and we should have the date there. Ta da! And this is the last time you'll ever have to do this because your blog, provided it's set up properly, will automatically change this date for you every December 31st or January 1st.